Good. So you wrote down the equation seven point three one. Yes, sir. Good. Knowing the equation, the ionization constant K of an acid and its initial concentration C, it is possible to calculate the equilibrium concentration of all the species and also degree of ionization of the acid and the pH of the solution. So once you have this uh, formula, P K E is equal to minus log of K A. So we can actually form find the equilibrium constant and the pH very easily. Right. So what is the uh, stepwise approach we need to follow? Okay. First thing is the stepwise approach can be obtained to evaluate the pH of a weak electrolyte as follows. First, the species present before dissociation are identified as the Bronsted Lowry acid and the bases. So first thing we need to understand is anything which we consider the acid or the base before the dissociation is considered as a Bronsted Lowry acids and the bases. Okay. Next, second is the balance equations for all the possible reactions with the species acting both. As an acid as well as base are the written. So basically, you need to write the chemical equations or the balance equation for the reactions. Third thing is the reaction with the higher K is identified as a primary reaction, while the other as a subsidiary reaction. So basically, the reaction with higher K value, the higher equilibrium constant, is to be taken as a primary reaction. So when the reaction with the higher K equilibrium constant, which is higher for the reaction, that will be considered as a primary reaction. Fourth one. Analysis in the tabular form of the following values in each of the species and their primary reactions. First is initial concentration, change in concentration of benzene to the equilibrium in terms of the alpha and the degree of ionization. So just like how we did the previous uh, example, we need to first identify which will be the primary reaction will happen, and second we have to notice with the degree of ionization that is alpha. Okay. So at the equilibrium, what will be the concentration of the each of the ions? Now substitute the equilibrium concentration in the equilibrium constant equation for the principal reactions and solve for the alpha. So calculate the concentration of species to the principal reaction and use the uh, once you calculate the react uh, concentration after that you can apply the formula pH is equal to minus log of H three O plus ions. So basically this will become easier when we start doing the Problem. Okay, so understanding the problem is pretty uh, straightforward. We'll try to understand with the example seven point one eight. See here, what we need only step four, step five is important because first anyway you will be writing the equation of the ionization and initially the concentration will be C and after it, at once the equilibrium is reached, then you know the degree of dissociation is degree of dissociation is alpha, then. The C minus C minus C alpha will become other places will become C alpha C alpha. Remember that which we did the reaction earlier. Concentration, yeah. Yeah, C alpha degree of uh, dissociation. And let's try to do the same thing with the once you get the alpha value, you can actually find the what will be the concentration of the hydronium ions at the equilibrium. Once you find it, then we can just substitute in the formula. Uh, pH is equal to minus log of H three ions. Clear. Let's go to the example seven point one eight. Here we'll apply the whatever the steps just now we saw. Okay. Okay. So ionization yes, constant of the H HF is given as uh, three point two in ten power minus four, and the calculate the degree of dissociation of HF in its zero point zero two molar solution. Calculate the concentration of all the species present. H3O plus ions, chlorine plus F minus ion HF in the solution and its pH. Okay. okay, so let's try to understand this part. Sample one eight. Okay, let's let's do the sample one eight and we'll try to figure out this part, which will be the primary reaction based on the uh, equilibrium constant value. Got it. Okay. Okay. First, write down the reaction, and then we'll see. Okay. 
Okay. So first write down the HF reaction. Uh, yeah, HF HF plus water. What will give you H three O N plus H two O N. Correct. And H two also will that neutralization. This one by H two also will dissociate into ions from the H three O plus ions and the OH minus. That's why equilibrium constant of water is one in ten power minus fourteen. So whoever has the higher value, that will become the primary reaction. Okay. Correct. Hmm. Yeah. Yes. Let's try to do that now. Attempt this part with your understanding. If you don't get it, then I'll explain to you. But the method remains the same. Here we need to find the value of alpha. Okay. 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 Yeah. Tanisha, any questions? Any doubts in the example nine? Mm, oh, no, sir. Is clear to you? Yes, sir. Okay. This is exactly like how the previous uh, react problem which we had done it, because once in the equilibrium stage, whatever the molar concentration of the HF will be there, dissociation constant will get multiplied, right? And then you will get formed the H3O ions plus fluoride ions. And you know the formula equilibrium constant is equal to that C alpha square by one minus alpha. Yeah, actually you can use directly the formula also, but when you write the chemical reaction and then do that, I mean your understanding will be. Uh, very crisp, and you're able to thoroughly, okay. you know, work on that problems. Hmm. Is that can you use um calculator for calculation? Yeah, yeah, you can use calculator. Yes. Okay. You can try calculator. No problem. <clears throat> Oh, yeah, then you explain example 10. Example 10 is not clear to you? Okay. See, solve for the x. The so second part. Second part, okay. Log 2, log of 3x is equal to 4. Okay, so how do we represent here? Now, log 2, uh, log 3x. So basically, if you 
just assume the log 3 of x as some cons, you know some quantity let, let's say k is it okay log 3 of x yes. i represent as k so log of k to the base 2 will be equal to 4 correct now 2 to the power yes, 2, to, 2 to the power of uh, 4 is equal to k so 2 to the power 4 will be equal to k correct so k will be equal to 16 so log 3x is equal to 16 correct Yes, sir. Then again, uh, convert back to the exponent form. So, 3 power 16 will be equal to x. So, can't we change to 4 as log 2, log uh, 2, 4? Log 2, 4. You cannot change it because, see, this is log 2 is the base. And this log 3x is the another data on which the log you want to take for the base this one. So when you represent the entire thing in the exponent form, it will be written as, I'll just tell you how it will be written. Okay. So when you change this entire thing to the exponent form, so log to the base to and I put it here as k is equal to 4. Is it okay? Can I say that like this? Just check. And here I substitute. <coughs> Just check Tanisha. Is it? Can I represent like this? Here I assume that the k is equal to log 3x. Is it fine? Now, when I represent in the expand form, it will be 2 power 4 is equal to k. Can I say like that? You let me know this part. If you are fine with this, and then it will be very easy for you to understand. So then in this case, k will be 16, right? k will be 16, correct answer. And what is k? So then log x is equal to 16. Yeah, log 3 x is equal to 16. Then again you represent it in the form of exponent, x will be, you will get the value of x. So x is equal to 3 to the power of 16. Yeah, understood. Okay, sir. Hmm. Yeah, do the third part now. Yeah, Vijay, you are getting the this problem now after using calculator. Yes, sir. I'm getting it now. Excellent. What the alpha value is plus minus zero point one two. Plus minus zero point one. Yeah, fine. So negative, you cannot use that root. Yeah, so... Yeah.
Ja, ja. Kommt du gleich nach Florin und du kannst uns gleich am Ende stehen, Mord. Mhm. Und kommt du gleich nach Halsen Florid ist man für 17, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16. Ja, korrekt. Halsen Florid, ja, korrekt Hansen, ja. Now let's go to the 7.19 now. You understood this part? How do you do that? Hmm. Page is equal to minus log of gauge. Yes, answer. Excellent. Now, can you just try yourself with the 7.19 now? Because from here, the questions are important. Yes, sir. Most of the questions in the equilibrium questions will be related to the pH things. Okay. And the pH concept has to be very good. Because the concept wise, it is pretty much same only. Concentration and the equilibrium, at the equilibrium, you need to define it. Once you know the dissociation constant. So anything we can use it. And you have to use the log, log part. <clears throat> okay. okay, sir. Yeah. Yes, Mostly standard value of the log will be used. But in case, I need to tell you how to see the log table also. Maybe, you know. Yes, sir. Yeah, next time I'll tell you how to see the log table also. <clears throat> After that, we need to similar thing we need to do for the basis also. It'll be same. So that'll be easy. Second sample, 819 is clear, the question. The pH of 0.1 molar monobasic acid is 4.5 and calculate the concentration of species H plus ions, A plus ions and the HA on equilibrium. Also determine the value of the K and the P of K, PK of the monobasic acid. Not exactly, sir. This is a little bit more confusing. Okay, no problem. Let's understand that. pH of the 0 0.1 molar monobasic acid is uh, 4.5. So, pH they have given. Okay. So, pH, yeah. that means pH is minus log of H plus ions. Got it? The, or H3O plus hmm. ions. So, they, they are given as 4.5. Point molar. So, concentration is 0 0.1 molar solution. Okay. Next. Now, now we need to find the we need to find the value of K and the P of K for the monobasic acid, correct? Yeah. So basically, we need to find the equilibrium constant. The equilibrium constant is what? The equilibrium constant is remember that formula. You have the total ions at the equilibrium divided by total concentration of the HA, right? Hmm. Correct. Now, as per the given data, you have pH is equal to minus log of H plus ions. So basically, the pH value is nothing but the 4 point something value, isn't it? How much value is uh, there? 4.5. Yeah. You know? hmm. 4.5. Correct. Now, you apply the 4.50 is equal to minus log of H plus ions. So by default, the base will be 10. Correct. So minus 4.50 yeah. is equal to minus log of H plus ions, correct? Yes, sir. Okay. So then as per the exponential, H plus will be H plus ions will be equal to 
10 to the power of minus 4.50 base 10 hmm. and you have to use the calculator to find out what is 10 power minus 4.0 you can use the calculator and find out what will be the answer that will be the concentration of the H plus ions Okay. Got it? Yes, I got it. So once you got the concentration of H plus ions, that, that is the concentration which is available at the equilibrium. So that, that concentration will be same as A plus, A minus uh, ions. Got it? Yeah. And then you apply the uh, you then you apply the uh, equilibrium constant formula k is equal to concentration of h plus ions and concentration of a minus a divided by concentration of h a ions okay then once you get the concentration of the because here you will get the k value got it once you get yeah. the k value Okay. Yeah. yeah. Then you can find the pk value also because that will be the minus log of uh, yeah. equilibrium constant k, that formula. Okay, I'll run it. Try. Yeah. This, see, yeah, yeah there, this we are just yeah. trying to use the uh, two formulas which we have learned it. One was the equilibrium constant formula, second is the in terms of the pH, what is the relation with the equilibrium constant. Those two formulas only we are trying. Yeah. Right? Try. Yes, sir. Hmm. Tanisha, third third one you are getting it? Third question, what's the value of X? So I got the uh, four and thirty six. Ajay, okay. Any questions, any doubts till example 10? No, sir. It's clear? Very good. Good example 11 now. Be careful with example 11 because it's a kind of e equation. Yes, Done. Example 11 done. Any questions, any doubts in example 11? No, sir. Okay, let's go to the 12th one now. 12th first part. No need to do the second part. First part only is fine. Okay. Okay, sir. Yeah. Yeah, which I want the answer you got for the... 
Ya. ya. Okay, tempo minus it. K is ten power minus eight. Excellent. Now use the formula P K is equal to minus log of ten. Uh, uh, K. Equation seven point three. Log of P K. Yes. Excellent. You got it. So what are the question was asking you to do that? One was the determine the P K and the K of the mono basic. That's it. You got it. Or both the things you got it. Right. Yes, sir. Okay, one more thing here we need to understand what is called percentage dissociation. Okay, how to find yeah. the percentage yeah. dissociation? Because that was not given. This sometimes concept is given in terms of the problems only. The percentage percentage dissociation is another useful method for measuring the strength of the weak acid and is given by the how much it is H is dissociated divided by original value into hundred. Got it. Equation seven point three two. Okay. Write down this equation seven point three two. That is useful for you. Okay. Got it. Yes, I got it. Yeah. Just write down this part. Yeah, once we are done with this, now let's go to the. You understood, right? The equation of the uh, percentage dissociation. What is called the percentage dissociation, right? So how to calculate yeah, yeah, the yeah. percentage percentage dissociation? Okay. Now let's go to the seven point twenty. Now yeah. calculate the pH of the zero point zero eight molar solution of hypo hypochlorous acid, HCl, and the ionization constant of the acid is two point five ten by minus eight. Uh, correct. And uh, determine the percent dissociation of the HCl. Now, hypochlorous solution, you need to find the dissociation percent dissociation. So you need to find the. Yeah. You are getting how to do the question is clear to you? Yes, sir, clear. Okay, let's try it out now. Then the nation. What's the answer you got yes, for sir. the example twelve? So one by five. Excellent. Perfect. Now let's go to the last example thirteen. Now. Be careful yes, with the sir. bases. Okay. So whenever the bases are different, so you cannot do anything unless you make the bases same. And you know how to make the base same, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes, sir. Okay, cool. You can use the reciprocal base property.
so we don't have to change the base and make it same as four. Uh, up to you. You there are a number of ways to do this question. Um, you know, you can define the base and you basically your goal is to make the you can add only when you have the same base or you know you can just take the LCM only when you have same base so you, your goal is to make the same base for all the logs I'll try by changing the base yeah yeah try first you try by yourself if you don't get it then let me know I'll explain to you then And uh, yeah, you can send me the working for this. Okay. Okay, Yeah, you can use the calculator to solve this part. You don't have to struggle by doing the manual calculation. Find the percentage association. Okay. Yeah. The percentage is 1.76. 1.76. Yes, excellent. Yeah, that's correct answer. Uh, yeah, fine. You got it now. Okay. Now let's go to the annotation of the weak basis now. So write in the equation MOH now base. So all your acid is done. Now we have to go with the base. Base is now what? Hydroxide ions is present in the metal part. MOH. So MOH when in the aqueous state will give you the M plus and the OH minus ions right on this part. Equation of the MOH will be given at the equilibrium stage will become the M plus and the OH minus ions. And what will be the equilibrium constant of the base that will be denoted by the KB. Okay. Equilibrium constant of the base will be given as M plus ion concentration into OH minus ion concentration divided by 
MOH and the concentration. Clear? The method yeah. remains the same. C, we assume that the C yeah. is the initial concentration of the base and alpha is the dissociation constant yeah. or the degree of dissociation. So at the equilibrium, yeah. you write C alpha, C alpha. Correct? Yeah. yeah. And you have the equilibrium constant K is equal to uh, that C alpha whole square yeah. by C by 1 minus alpha. Correct? Same thing. There is no difference in the formula. Just that uh, instead of K, it becomes a KB. Now we are finding equilibrium constant as a base now. Clear? Yes, yes. Yeah. Now let's go to the table 7.7 .7 now. The values of ionization constant of some of the weak bases at 298 Kelvin. So a couple of weak bases we are giving the what is the equilibrium constant values. Weak bases. So weak basis, you can just see the you, you can just see the from the power itself. 5.4 in 10 power minus 4, then 10 power minus 5, 10 power minus uh, 5, 10 power minus 6, then minus 9, 10 power minus 10, and 10 power minus 40. Okay. So what will happen with the you know base when it is the weak base? So when it is the weaker basis, the pH will be somewhere closer to the 7, correct? And when it is a strong base, then the, it will be going towards the 13 and 14 side pH value, right? So yeah. that's why you see the urea and all, they are strong bases. And it'll, so it is going it is done in the increasing order. Dimethylamine, you see it's 10 power minus 4, 10 power minus 5, 10 power minus 6, 10 power minus 7, and so on till the 10 power minus 14. Correct? Yes, sir. Good. So this is what the increasing order for the equilibrium constant uh, for the weak basis, right? From weak basis to the strong base. Now Many organic, compound, many organic compounds like amines are weak bases. Amines are derivatives of ammonia in which one or more hydrogen atoms are replaced by the another group. Example, methyl amine, codeine, quilene, and the nicotine all behave very weak bases due to the small Kb value. The smaller Kb value, the weaker base it will be. Got it. Ammonia produces OH ions okay. in the aqueous solution. Then, hmm. so here That's also, what, yeah. So here also, what will happen? The pH scale of the hydrogen ion concentration has been extended to get. So P KB will be given as minus log of KB. So again, the same thing. Method is same, in the same. Nothing, no confusion. And let's go to the example problem seven point two one now. Okay. Okay. So, what's the formula for hydrogen? What's the hydrogen for? Hydrogen. Okay, hydrogen. Formula for hydrogen. Oh, okay. NH two, NH two. Okay. Hydrogen, yeah, yeah. That, uh, just remember that two, two amines basically, NH2, NH2. Yeah, sir. Hmm. Okay.
Hmm. So, Isha, you did get the answer for the for example, thirteenth one. So I'm Yeah, yeah. I don't get this one. You didn't get okay. No problem. That's still where you got uh, the equation seven point twenty one. I didn't get any anything, sir. Ajay, you didn't get anything. Okay, no problem. Let's try to understand this part clearly. You know? One minute. Let me just check uh, the calculation hmm. part. Okay, so log four x is equal to two by four. Sir, send to by both the method. Both the method, okay. So log x two and two by two log x, okay. Two by sixteen. So for log x two, yeah, two by two is equal to eight. X minus uh, yeah. Yes, the uh, the Nisha, your mother is absolutely correct. Your mother is absolutely correct. X. So you change the you converted everything into the log of x, right? So your second method is. Pretty good method. Second method is nice method. You used. No need to make the base same. Basically, the x only you you know took it as base, right? So that is fine. This method is nice. Yes, sir. Yeah. Second method is appropriate. We can apply the second, which is good. Okay, Dhanisha, I think uh, let's go to the exam exercise 2.3, and uh, let's attempt the. You don't have to do all the questions now. Let's attempt the exercise 2.3. First question. Do the second and the fourth part. Do the second and the fourth part only. And question number second, do the only fourth and fifth part. Okay. Question number one, it is second and third. Second and fourth part. Second and fourth part. And question number two. Second, fourth and fifth. Yeah, fourth and fifth. Yeah. Let's try this part. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. So you didn't understand anything in this part. Okay, let's let's try to understand. So pH of the the pH of 0.04 m solution. So hydrazine is given to you as 0.04 mole solution. Okay. Now it's a weak base, Vijay. Okay. So weak base means what? Now NH2 NH2 plus H2 it will give you the OH minus ions. Correct. So that. OH minus ion that that equation you need to write yeah you have written the equation for it yes sir wrote the equation okay so equation once you wrote the equation now from here the actual calculation goes like this i'll just tell you how the equation you know this is after this equation let's go back to the problem now so what is the data they have given pH is nine point seven. Correct. Now, pH is equal to what? 
माइनस लॉग ऑफ के बी करेक्ट दैट इज वॉट योर पी एच इज इट ओके नाउ दे हैव गिवेन ए नाइन पॉइंट सेवन नाइन पॉइंट सेवन इज इक्वल टू माइनस लॉग ऑफ के बी क्लियर वॉट इज के बी नाउ This part is clear to you. From the equation, it's clear to you. What I'm saying? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, in this part, so you just have to put nine point seven is equal to minus log of KB. Okay. Now, log of KB will be equal to minus nine point seven. Clear? Now. Now, ten to the power of minus nine point seven will be equal to KB. Got it? KB will be equal to ten power minus nine point seven. Is it okay? What is ten power minus nine point seven? You have to use calculator to find. Ten power now. Huh? Yeah, one minute. Yeah. One point nine nine into ten power of ten, so minus ten. Yeah, ten power minus ten. Yeah. Correct. Ten power minus ten. Okay. So fine. So that you got it now. That you got as the you know KB value. Okay. Or, yes, sir. No. Because pH of this hydrogen solution they have given nine point seven, so you got the pH of uh, that you know, KB value. You already got it now. Now question is asking calculate the ionization constant KB and the pKB value. Oh so KB value is already we got it no? No. Yeah. Wait no no wait we have to find the KB value. Yeah. So what value here? So okay. So what here is then from the pH we can calculate the hydrogen ion concentration. Knowing the hydrogen ion concentration and the ionic product of water, we can calculate the concentration of hydroxyl ions, and thus we leave the H plus ions is equal to minus log of K H ions. Okay. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Now we need to have find the K uh, K B value, isn't it? So P. Okay. So when find value here, the, whenever they say pH, no. It is actually getting yeah, the concentration yeah. of H plus ions. Got it. pH is nothing but the getting the concentration of H plus ions, right? Unless they specify that P of OH. Okay. So pH is given as uh, you know you 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 whatever the value will get. That will be the equilibrium uh, constant of the A. So with that we need not we need not have to do that part. So we'll use another formula yeah, for this. So we know the pH is equal to minus log of H plus ion concentration, correct? So here we'll get the H plus ion concentration. Yeah. So we get H plus concentration. From here H plus concentration, we will we'll try to get the OH minus ion concentration because you know the H plus and the OH minus ion concentration has to be only 10 power minus 14. Okay. Correct. The concentration of product of H plus and the OH minus will be always 10 power minus 14. So once we get the value of uh, once you get the value of H plus uh, ions, you can easily find the OH minus ion concentration. Correct. Yes, sir. Once you get the OH minus ion concentration. Then we can apply the apply the formula to get the KB value because KB value is equal to your ion ionic concentration product of ionic concentration divided by concentration of the hydrazine. Got it? Because at the equilibrium both will be the same values. Yeah. Right? 
and then we yes, can have the square in this part. Clear? Try it out now. Yes, sir. This part. Try this part. Now. Also, yeah, there you go. So, can explain question number two, fourth part? Question number two, fourth part? Okay. 2 log 2, log 5, 1 by 2 log 36, and minus log 1 by 30. 1 by log, uh, log 1 by 36. Okay, so what's the doubt in this part? So log two, uh, 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 its plus is there. So basically, you have uh, by default, the everything is in the log base of ten, correct? We can let this be the way it is. Okay. Now. So we can write one log thirty six as log six, right? Yeah, log thirty six is six square. So two log six. So. Two two will get cancelled. So. so log 6 yeah, yeah correct log 6 so everything is 2 log 10 to uh, log uh, 10 by base 5 and then log 10 by base 6 and then everything is base 6 right uh, no. 10 right yeah everything is base 10 when they have known not specify anything everything is base 10 only so log 1 by 30 can be written as this is you can apply the division rule here or the you know anything or you can take the 30 power minus 1. So it will become minus 1 log 30. 30 you can just write in 6 into 5. So you can take the, apply the addition rule log 6 plus log 5. And just check what okay. and all things gets cancelled and what, you know, you can keep it. Some things will get cancelled for you. Just try it out. Yes. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. The KB part, that's not KB part is not understanding. Okay, no problem. So KB, what is the okay. formula for the yeah. KB? If we just see the KB formula, the backs, whatever we have written. I got the answer. Huh? I got the answer for that. Oh, so you got the answer for it? Okay, but... Yeah, uh, you... Only the first, second part, which is the standard formula application. Yeah, standard formula. Second part is standard formula. First part is, see, in the question, they have given yeah. pH value. pH means... Concentration of the H plus ions. Hmm. So pH, so that's the reason here the trick is that H plus ions is given to you. So you need to find whatever the pH is equal to minus log of, uh, you know, uh, H plus ions concentration you do. That you are getting is the concentration of H plus ions, you know, on the pH scale. So basically, now you know the total pH is uh, constant is 10 power minus 14, right? So after that, you need to get the yeah. OH ions concentration at the equilibrium. Got it? Hmm. Because KB is related with your OH yes, minus hydroxyl ion negative concentration. Okay, so that's the reason. Clear this part? Understood? Yes, that's clear. Okay. Go to the yeah. yeah. Let's go to the problem standpoint two two now. Calculate the pH of the solution in which the 0.2 molar ammonium chloride and 0.1 molar ammonia are present. And the pKb of ammonia solution is 4.75 now. Good. Now this is an interesting solution now. Now two uh, things they have given. One salt and the one ammonia they have given. 
So now again you need to compare now. Yeah. yeah. Which will be the primary reactant. Primary reaction. Correct. Yes, yeah, I don't get this one. You don't get it? Okay, no problem. I'll explain to you this part. Mm, yeah. Now, let's understand this part. Question is, if let's... So, calculate the pH of the solution in which the 0.2 molar ammonium chloride and the 0.1 molar ammonia are present. So, we need to find the pH of the solution. Right? pH of the values, concentration of the H plus ions we need to find in the solution of 0.2 molar ammonium chloride and the 0.1 molar ammonia and pkb of ammonia solution is 4.75 so what they have done pkb value pkb value is 4.75 so here when you find the pkb value so you will get the k uh, from the from the formula pkb is equal to minus log of kb you will get the kb formula kb value you will get equilibrium constant of the base solution you will get clear once you get the kb value once you get the kb value then we need to actually use the formula kb is what use the concentrate product of the two concentration divided by original concentration correct yeah uh, so since they have given for the kb for the ammonia calculation ammonia solution so ammonia you need to find out Ammonia when it dissolves in water, it forms the ion plus OH minus ions, correct? Yes, sir. Now, and they have already given to you that initial concentration is 0 0.1. 0 0.1 molar. So, concentration they have given to you. So, here you need to find the... We need to know like at, at the equilibrium what is the concentration of the ammonium ions and the OH minus ions. So, after that we assume that it is X concentration, X concentration. Okay. Then at the equilibrium it will become the 0 0.1 minus X and 0 0.2 this... Uh, what is the initial concentration of the ammonium ions is there? 0 0.2 molar ammonium chloride. Okay, okay. Here, here the makes a difference here. Because initially, initially when you have the ammonia solution is 0 0.1 molar, but ammonium ions is 0 0.20. How does it become 0 0.20 you know, here? That is what is the trick here. Because they have given you the 0 0.2 molar ammonium chloride solution. So 0 0.2 yeah. is the salt basically. Salt, this salt will also uh, dissociate into ammonium ions. Got it? So in the ammonia solution the ammonium ions are also coming from the ammonium chloride so how much ammonium ions are coming from the 0 0.2 molar solution 0 0.1 uh, yeah 0 0.2 mole solution in 0 0.2 molar solution what will be the concentration of the uh, ammonium ions that will be 0 0.2 only correct huh? because we are talking in terms of moles per liter only 
Yeah. So zero point two moles of the ammonium ions is already present. Correct. Yes, sir. Now this ammonia ions is becoming so some let's say x concentration of the ammonia is uh, changed to ammonia ions. So zero point one minus x, and here it will be zero point two plus x, and the x will be OH minus ions. Clear. Yes, so final concentration yes. you got is 0.1 minus x and 0.2 plus x and then x. Is it clear this part? And you can just yes. apply in the yes. formula then. Kb is equal to that concentration of products divided by concentration of the reactant ignoring the water part. And with that okay. you can get the value of x. Once you get the value of x, you know, once you get the value of x, now we can just compare what is the value of x. Uh, you know, with this much, no KB is we have to find the KB value, right? Yeah, we need to find ionization constant KB value. KB is anyway you got the KB's value. No KB is already you have KB value you already got it. No, one point seven seven into power minus five molarity. With that uh, you calculate the value of x, right? Once you calculate the value of x, right? Then we can actually, you know, compare how much it got dissociated, you know, because he is asking you to find the value of KB. KB formula is like that only. Hmm. Okay, and the PKB. Clear. Okay. You we'll try it out. Yeah. Uh -huh. With the KB value, once you get it, you will get the value of X. Okay, sir. Just try it one Because okay, because question is asking we need to find the pH of the solution. Sorry, no, you have to find the pH of the solution. pH of the solution that means you need once the OH ions you got it, then you have to use the formula. Product of H plus ions on OH minus ions is equal to ten minus fourteen, and then you need to get the H plus ions concentration. Okay. Yeah. So, so KB would be 1.77 and 10 power minus 5. Correct. Yeah, yeah, correct. Yeah, with that, use the calculator to do the cross multiply and solve it and get the value of x. Okay, sir. Once you get the value of x, we can. Uh, that x is nothing but the OH ions concentration. Tanisha, you got the answer for this fourth one?
Vijay, you got the answer now for this case? No, sir. I'm still doing the calculation. Sir. Okay, calculation you're doing? Yeah. Kibis. Hmm. Zero point twenty plus x into x by ten. Zero point one minus x is equal to one point seven seven into ten power minus five. So it it will be like a quadratic equation, isn't it? Yes, I got it now. Yup. So what's the value? Uh, so it's zero point eight eight into ten power minus five. Okay. So now, yeah, once you, yeah, once you get the concentration of y ions, you you have to multiply with h plus ions, and you should get as ten power minus fourteen because the h plus ion into oh minus ion concentration is equal to ten power minus fourteen, right? So this you divide with ten power yeah. minus fourteen. So you should get the concentration of h plus ions. Once you get the concentration of h plus ions, then you can take the negative log of that. So you'll get the pH. Try it out. So 10 power minus 14 divided by 0.88 into 10 power minus Yeah, yeah. What's the concentration of H plus ions you got? It's a one point one two into ten power minus nine. Okay. Now you have to take the negative log of this part, so you'll get the value of P of K K B P of K B. No, not P of K. pH. Sorry, pH. pH. Okay. Yeah. Negative log of one point one two kilogram. Yeah. Okay. So negative log will be ten to minus one. So you can just know easily how much it will be. Should come as eight point nine five.
Sure, fine, Vijay. Yes, I got it. It's, it's on my laptop. Yeah, fine. Oh, Vijay, sure. I think let's close it now. We'll continue. Okay. Okay, bye. Sure, bye. bye. bye.